Hey guys, welcome to Next Play Soccer, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to teach building out the back in a 7v7. We'll be starting with the basic concepts of building out before taking a look at each of the progressions and then ultimately finishing in a 6v4. Before we get going, we first need to establish that this setup is based off a team playing any 1 2 3 1 system. The steps and progressions will remain similar for any formation you use, with the only things changing is the start position of your players. The progressions are designed to be taught over a number of weeks and levels of success vary from group to group. Don't be alarmed if you're spending a lot of time on the early progressions as young players, especially players experiencing the game for the first time, will need more time to pick things up. To start we are going to need to set up our field. I recommend using a third of a 77 size field and make sure you have a clear build outline. Place three goals on the build outline. Once you've done that, we then need to set out our start positions for our first phase. The goalkeeper starts in the goal. The two centre backs are flanking the keeper. Notice they are inside the penalty area and to the side of the goal area. The ball starts with the keeper and we have a defender starting on the build out line. The game always begins with the keeper either rolling the ball out or with a goal kick. I recommend practicing both throughout the activity. Once the ball is released, the aim of the game is for one of the two centre backs to pass into one of the three goals. Players should be encouraged to pass to each other and when necessary back to the goalkeeper to maintain possession. The second phase includes a second defender called a gatekeeper. This person's job is to stand in one of the three goals and block it off. The gatekeeper is allowed to move from goal to goal and essentially closes the goal they are standing in. Once a goal is closed, the attacking team must now try to score one of the other two goals. Phase 3 is adding a centre midfielder to make it a 4v2 with the defending team no longer using the gatekeeper and now using two defenders on the field. Players will again need to be smart with the ball and the support play in order to create opportunity to score in the mini goals. Like with any of these activities, if the blue team steals the ball, they can play to goal as they would do it in a real game. Phase 4 sees an adjustment in the field dimensions with the goals now being on the halfway line. In this phase, we also introduce the wide players to the setup and introduce a third defender to make it a 6v3. The last and final phase is adding an additional defender to make the activity 6v4. Notice the fourth defender is acting as a blue team centre mid and starts in the centre circle as they should in a real game. As mentioned earlier, there's no definitive timeline you should place on each phase. Every group is different. The best way to judge if teams are understanding and getting success with a particular phase is to look at how many goals they are scoring. If the team building are finding their way to the mini goals on a regular basis, then it's time to move on. Likewise, if they are struggling, is it okay to go back and revisit a previous phase? Hope you enjoyed the video, as always, please give it a like, and if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions about the content of this video, feel free to leave me a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.